Hi, today I just wanted to do a very quick review instructional video on the Coombe Automatic Long Point Pencil Sharpener. And so this is going to be the third one that I'm adding to my collection. I have one at work and my husband has one for work and then now we have one for home. And I just wanted to show you uh, how it works. And so um, the one that I have is not the one that I had previously purchased is not in German. I got this one from Amazon. The first one I ordered was either from Pencils.com or JetPens. I can't remember. And I got them when I got my Palomino Black Wings. This is from, I believe, the Volumes Collection. Or Volumes Edition. Anyway, all of these are pretty much the same, whether they say Palomino on them or the, on the side or not. Um, if it's made by Coombe and it's this style, it's pretty much going to be the same. So let me just show you how it works. I believe it's going to be the same. We'll find out. So there are two spots in this pencil sharpener that you can put a pencil in, number one and number two. And then it comes with some extra blades, I think, that you can see in here. This actually feels a little uh, interesting. It has a different feel than my Palomino one. Anyway, in order to use this, you're going to first go into slot number one, and that is where you're going to just shave down the pencil. And we're making some progress. Let me empty this so that you can continue to see. So obviously to empty it, you just lift it up and empty it out. All right. Continuing on. So now you can see that it's shaving off the, the wooden part around the graphite and then it is making a very squared off tip. So I just kind of use this until it just kind of turns around and it's not really shaving anything off. And now I've got this weird looking pencil tip. Now I go into the number two slot. Sorry, I'm just emptying this. There we go. My apologies. That seemed to take longer than I wanted it to. Now I go into the number two slot. And I'm just going to gently turn it. And I kind of put pressure against the blade. And as I turn, it's going to shave off that weird part. And you can see I get a nice sharp point. I can continue on at this point and just kind of hone the edge. And I can push against the blade even a little bit more. And I continue to get that nice sharp point. And that is how you do it. So mine looks pretty much like the one in the picture. You can see after step one, after step two. Sorry about the little pause there while I emptied my shavings, but um, I just wanted to show you how that works. These work really well. Um, this, I mean, I think it was maybe between five and six dollars. And after, you know, as a teacher, I buy like hand sharpeners and stuff for my classroom. And while I wouldn't buy this, you know, several of these for a classroom because they will disappear, just buying the ones from like Staples or Office Depot that are like two or three dollars, the cheap ones they don't even come close to this so if you want a hand sharpener I would do yourself a favor get one of these I think it was an add-on like I said for about five dollars and it's the same as like the Palomino branded one and I think it's the same it works the same um, has similar results so I would say it's worth it for the extra couple dollars because you're gonna need a pencil sharpener that you really like and that actually works and doesn't just break your pencils off or you know just shred your pencil apart so thanks for watching. I hope that you found this useful and have a great day. Bye.